So now that we moved outside from the classroom, okay, we, um, we, we have our materials, okay? So I'm gonna kind of show you how to set up um, a workstation outside, okay? So this is called, do you guys know what this is called? This part, this part of the setup? An easel. An easel, okay, yeah. So those are easel, and what does the easel do? Holds the canvas. Holds the canvas, yeah. It also holds it so it's nice and tight. See, you see how there's wind. Okay, when you're outside, you have the elements. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then, um, so we have the easel, very important part. What is this called over here? The canvas. The canvas. Okay. So this is not actually made out of canvas. These are um, boards, canvas boards. And then, do you know what this is called? Okay, so remember when we talked about um, Monet's setup? Yeah. Okay, so, so what he uses, um, this is called a palette, okay? So a palette holds your paints, yeah. okay? And it's what you mix your paint on over here, okay? The last thing we need, we have, what are these called? Paintbrushes. Paintbrushes, okay? And do you know why we have different sizes? So then, if it's, if it's a small size, if there's like a small space, you use a small paintbrush, and if there's like a medium space, you use like this kind of paintbrush. Yeah. And if it's a big one, you That's for big shapes, right? Yeah. Okay, so like the elements of art that we talked about, there's line, okay? We're gonna, in a couple minutes here, we're gonna do a line drawing over here, okay? All paintings and drawings start with, with basic line, okay? And then you make those lines into shapes. And so these are wider brushes, for um, doing wider shapes, yeah. okay? And then some are round and some are flat. So this has to do with the edge of the shape, you know? Yeah. All right? And then the last thing, we have paints, okay? And there are different kinds of paints. Mm -hmm. We're gonna use um, acrylic paint, okay? Yeah. So these are water-based. So you need paints, okay? And then you also need something to clean your brushes out with, okay? Yeah. This is called a medium, okay? So this is water. So we clean our brushes out with um, acrylic paints with water, okay? Um, sometimes I use oil paints and I use turpentine to clean my brushes out, all right? So that's basically the setup over here, okay? And then next week, so today we're gonna work on our drawings, okay? And then we might get into doing some of the painting, but we wanna, we want to draw this out so it's um, so it's all laid out with shapes, and that's called a composition. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're composing you're composing your picture onto the canvas. Okay, just like a mu um, just like a, a composer of music, or you know, arranges notes and everything to make a song. Okay, we do the same thing. All right, so um. So I'm just going to show you here. What we're going to do over here, let me just show you. Um, okay, so we're going to draw this over here. Yeah. Okay. See how like each, like what colors are, what colors do you see over here? Uh, purple and green. Purple and green. And then what's this over here? That's, brown? Yeah, that's like okay. a tannish brown. Tannish brown. And then we have kind of a off-white color, gray color right here. Right? And then this is gray over here, right? Yeah. You see how each one of these flowers, um, each one of these flowers makes a shape? Yeah. Okay, so see how like if you squint, so if you squint here, you see it kind of minimalizes the light in your eye. So then you can see the green and the purple. See how it kind of stands out? Yeah. Okay? And see how See how the plant makes one big organic shape? Yeah. You know? And then this makes a shape? Yeah. Okay? And then, um, and then those are shapes, vertical shapes in the background, right? Yeah. Okay. So what you wanna do, if you come back over here, we're not gonna think about color necessarily, we're just gonna think about line and shape, okay? Yeah. And, um, let me just position this a little bit better. Okay, 
So what we want to do is we want to have the plant kind of fill the space. Yeah. Okay? So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to start by this, putting in this basket towards the bottom. Okay, and then this basket is like, has this part, right? And then, and then that shape over here like this, okay? Okay, and then for this here, I'm gonna, each one of these branches, I'm just gonna just kind of like make a shape. First start off with a shape like this, okay? And then I'm gonna turn this into smaller shapes. And then wherever there's purple, I'm gonna make a separate shape for the purple. Okay, and it look, kind of looks kind of abstract right now. But what I'm, what I'm trying to do is just plan out my painting. Okay, so purple, 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 okay? And a purple over here. Yeah. Okay, so then these, I'm just trying to um, kind of plan out where these, um, where these shapes go, okay? Yeah. And mine's kind of quick, because I'm just trying to block this in. Yeah. Um, Okay, and then we have, see how there's, the wire basket has shapes in here? They're like kind of yeah. curly shapes. Kind of shapes that kind of looks like a, like a simple bunny's head. Kind of. Yeah. Okay, so then here, over here like this. Okay, and then there's a wire coming over here. And then like that. Okay. It's important as a painter, you don't want to get, at this stage of the drawing, you don't want to get stuck in all the details, okay? You just want to kind of try to map it out, to plan out where everything goes on the page, okay? And then I'm going to, I'm going to make these vertical. where we're going to start. So now let's go over to your canvas, okay? And, um, okay, so your canvas over here, so you have your easel, you have your canvas, you have your palette, okay? So go ahead. See how, like, mine is d different than yours? Yeah. It's because we're drawing the same object from a different angle, okay? Yeah. So, um, and then you want to kind of position this. So you wanna you wanna position this here so you can see what you're drawing, okay? And then just kind of um, draw those over there, okay? So we're kind of using the elements of art that we're using are are line. See how these are line drawings? Yeah. But with the lines, we're actually making shapes, okay? So shapes are like an enclosed line. Okay, and what you have to do, you have to constantly kind of look at look at this, okay, and then look at your canvas, okay, and just try to do your best, okay. So a lot of times, like art, takes a while to do um, to get really good at it, okay. And you can't worry about that in the beginning. You just have to do your best, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have the purple flowers, and then see these little, so the flower is kind of connected to the bush, right? Yeah. Okay, so then what you want to do, see this over here? You have these lines? Yeah. So kind of like find out where these lines go, and then, and then just kind of do like a, like a, a basic shape for the thing over there. Good. 
So what Monet did when he when he painted. He painted little. Yep, and he is. He used a lot. His wasn't about accuracy necessarily, but he painted light and he painted color. Yeah. All right. So, so he um, impressionistic means like it's kind of an impression of nature. Okay. Yeah. So it doesn't mean it's like, it's exact. Okay. And a lot of times he had big brush strokes and everything. Okay. Yeah. You want to do? You want to do some of these over here? Yeah. yeah. Right. Sounds good. All right. Why don't you come back over here? I'm going to show you how to set up paintings. Okay. Set up your paints. Your face looks bad. Uh, yes. I can see. Okay, so what colors? What colors you see in here? What's this color over here? Purple and there's yellow inside the purple. Okay, and then this is green. Yeah. And this is brown. Yeah. And that's gray. Yeah. Okay. Well, so, this is kind of. This is what is it called? Okay. This is kind of. What is it called? Off white. Oh, um, is it a Kind of okay, green. so then you look like over cream. here. Cream, it's cream color. Yep, so you look over here. Okay. I think we have to mix purple. What? Just let me teach. Okay, back up over there. Okay, we have white. Okay. So we, we always need white. Yeah. Okay. We need um, a kind of yellow. So there's two yeah. kinds of yellow, okay? One's more orangey and one's more white. Uh, more, more towards the. Um, Green, okay? Yeah. So just like on the color wheel, there's different um, yellow can either go to green or it can go to orange. And then this is like a brownish kind of yellow. Um yeah, so yeah. we need kinda of need some of this. Okay, so greens, okay, we need greens and blues, okay? We need red. This part of this room, yeah. We need a red. So red and blue make purple. Purple, okay. Yes, purple. Yep. And then we need a brown. And then we need like a black. Um, black over here. All right. So the way we set up our paints is we set them up um, from light to dark and warm to cool. Okay. Yeah. A little bit of white. Yeah, we got white, yellow, this is yellow over there. This is so you can get nice earthy greens. That's kind of like the color of the yeah, so you would mix burnt sienna. Um, so th you want to set your palette up in the in the form of like a um, color wheel, okay? So you have yellows, and then yellows goes yellow, orange, red, yeah, blue, green, oh, and then I put the browns on. Mm -hmm. It looks like the face of a Grinch. Yeah. Okay, so once you... This is for a number. Black. Yeah, so we have black on our palette. To, sometimes we need that to make it darker. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so, I'm gonna, so now we're going to come over here. Um, okay, I'm just going to put these over here and then I'm going to show you how to set this up. The next thing we need is water. Okay, so we're just going to put a little water in here. Okay, water kind of thins down the paint. Yeah. Okay. 
Get a good brush here. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I want to, I do it out with pencil. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is just kind of like block it in with paints. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to mix up. Um, Brownish green color. And that's what I'm going to use black yeah, you See how it's kind of thinner? Okay, so you have to have it a little thin so you can get, that's, get a nice that's, line. That's like a force. Yep. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to. Um, so that's the next step. Okay. So go ahead and. Um, just lock in that. So we're gonna, we're just gonna give you green right now, green and brown. Let's hold okay. off of it. Okay? okay? That's all that kinda, you kinda need. Sometimes I use brown for, and don't get on your clothes. Instead of that tape on your All right, and then you need a brush, right? Okay, your brush. You want that guy? Good. Okay, and you need water. So we're gonna bring this water over here. Okay. All right, so what we do over here. Yeah, just kind of mix a little bit of green, a little bit of brown. You can mix more brown if you want. Okay. You want to kind of mix them up. drawing it out. Just realize you can't really make a mistake, okay? Mistakes are, are uh, they're not really even mistakes. You make draw, you make you paint stuff and then you have to. Okay, so then just kind of do, um, I'll tell you what do. Yeah, and then just kind of go over this. 